Okay, we're going to have a look at some of the common birds you might find in your garden. It's a good idea to attract the birds by putting food out for them in the feeders. So, some seeds in this feeder. And here's one of the most common birds you'll find in your garden. This is a blackbird. This is the male. You'll see he's uh, black with a bright yellow beak. And they do like feeding on fruit. If this is the female. She's brown. And then, if you're lucky, you might find them nesting in your garden. And then when the youngsters come out of the nest, they're almost as big as their mum and dad. And uh, she, she's feeding them there um, in the garden. Here's another one of our familiar birds, the robin, recognised by the bright red breast. And they do like to feed on feeders as well, but you can get them to become so tame that they will actually take food from your hand. And they love suet strands, little bits of suet. And you can put them on a, a, a lid that they can feed out, out of. Here we have another familiar bird in the garden. This is one of the bigger visitors, the wood pigeon, recognised by the uh, blue, bluish colours um, and the white patch on the side of the neck. And they like to feed off a bird table so you can put some seeds out there for them. And uh, also coming to the bird table or waiting to come is this uh, Jackdaw, a little bit like a crow. There's a bit of a fight going on here. Um, the jackdaw is smaller than the crow and uh, usually recognised by the the bright, bright blue eyes. This is actually a youngster here which uh, is waiting for its uh, mum and dad to come and feed it. Now we come to a, a familiar family of birds to your garden. These are the tits and this is the little blue tit. You'll see that it's blue in, in colour with uh, yellow underneath and it's got uh, white cheeks and they are very good at hanging on bird feeders you'll see them they can hang upside down very easily and uh, they do like fat balls as well uh, this is a youngster here it's not quite as brightly colored as mum and dad and here's another one of the visitors with the tit family this is a coal tit you'll see it's a bit more uh, browny colored and it's got um, white bright white cheeks a dark uh, cap, black cap, and a white patch at the back of the head. And this is the bigger member of the tit family, the great tit, uh, obviously bigger than the, the coal tit and the blue tit. And the thing to look out for with them is they've got a yellow belly, a uh, yellow tummy with a black stripe down the middle. And again, they're, they're feeding on the seeds on the feeder. And here are perhaps um, one of the more unusual members of the tit family. These are the long tail tits and they like to uh, live in groups. This is a big family group and um, they are quite small. Um, and the, the thing about them that you'll notice is because of the name, the long tails and um, they're cute. Okay, we're gonna have a look now for some beasties with wings. Here we are in our garden and there's a, a, a creature here, it's not everybody's favourite, this is the wasp. Um, they are useful because they do clear up a lot of the, the pests which otherwise would eat your vegetables. You'll see it's got a very striped yellowy body and they have a thin waist which uh, makes it easier to tell them apart from a lot of the other uh, insects that look like them. This is a, a bumblebee, you can tell these are uh, special they've got big furry bodies and uh, on their legs they often have uh, little sacks where they collect the pollen uh, there's uh, they're very uh, very similar to each other but these are also bees these are honeybees 
the ones that make the honey for you. And you can see them feeding on flowers here. They have a very long tongue which will stick into the flowers to get the nectar. And then we go on to the beetles here. This is a probably a dung beetle and they like to lay their eggs on dung. Then we go on to the flies. Not everybody's favourites again, but they are important. This one is probably a flesh fly that feeds on decaying um, uh, flesh. Again, it's another one. It, here we have a crane fly, uh, sometimes called the daddy long legs. You can tell why, because they're, they've got these long legs. And then we have a bigger flying insect here. This is a dragonfly. And a bit more delicate, we have the damselflies, um, beautifully coloured and uh, very beautiful wings. Again, this is another type of um, damselfly. You can see the wings it takes off. They've got four of them. Very big eyes, they've got very good eyesight, and they are hunters, so they'll look looking out for other insects. Another type of damselfly here, now you can see the um, beautiful um, shiny body. Off it goes. Here we have a couple of damselflies pairing up, they'll try and find some water to lay their eggs in. And here we have a, a frog hopper. This is a brightly coloured one. Uh, there are different kinds of frog hoppers. Some of them are, are quite well camouflaged. And if we have a look at the uh, flowers this time of the year, you'll often find these hoverflies. They look like wasps or bees, but in fact they're a type of fly. Um, and they do feed on a variety of things like pollen. And they're quite territorial. They'll patrol the... the uh, their territory and see off anything else that comes uh, a, a, around. Another type of hoverfly here. These ones here feeding on nectar from the flowers. And here's uh, some of different kinds to see. Now we go into the moths. These are a little bit like the butterflies, but they usually come out at night and uh, they are not quite as brightly coloured. Although having said that, there are some day flying ones, such as this six spot burnet. You see in the grasslands. And another brightly coloured moth is the cinnabar moth. Um, and uh, the caterpillars are also very brightly coloured and they feed on poisonous plants. And these colours will warn uh, birds and things not to eat them. Okay, we're going to look at, um, in, a, in the garden now for some beasties with wings. And these include the butterflies. Here is a, a nice vegetable patch and these are one of the butterflies you can find that go around the cabbages. I call them cabbage whites. Um, although there's a number of different types of white uh, butterflies. This one is the large white. And it is very common this time of the year in the late summer. Again, another one they like to feed on flowers. But then they'll come around the vegetables and look for somewhere to lay their eggs. And here was a, a bunch of cabbage white butterfly eggs. They then hatch out into these little caterpillars and if left on the leaves you can see the amount of damage they will do. This is another butterfly you'll find in your garden, particularly if you live near woods, speckled wood butterfly. Red admirals, if you've got butterfly bush, they'll be attracted to those and also a, a host of other types of butterflies. Here we have a peacock, seen with the lovely spots on the wings. This one is a painted lady, again uh, attracted to the butterfly bush. This is a comma butterfly, so called because when they fold the wings, there's a, 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 a like a symbol of a comma underneath them. This one is a gatekeeper, quite a, a dull coloured butterfly, but it's very common nevertheless. This one is a, another of the whites, the green veined whites. They're like living in woodland areas. And here we have a small copper, again another butterfly of woodland areas. When butterflies um, stay very still, it can be quite difficult to see them. Uh, this is the wall brown, and again it's a, a, a quite a dull brown butterfly um, found in gardens sometimes. This is an orange tip butterfly, quite common in the spring. Obviously why it's called orange tip. And here's a good example of camouflage. Butterflies got its wings closed and blends in beautifully with the background. 
here we have some of the blues. These like to live in grasslands. Um, there's several different types of blues. And uh, they're very small butterflies. And um, when they close their wings, you'll notice um, underneath they have a variety of spots uh, of different colours, black and white and orange. And uh, you can usually tell which kind they are if you study them very carefully. Again, they like to live on grass and uh, are quite common in this area. Okay, now we're going to go have a look in the garden for some little beasties with no wings. Logs are a good place to find them if we turn the log over carefully. Have a look under here and what can we see? Lots of these little creatures, wood lice, and they like to uh, stay hidden underneath damp wood. And uh, one of the interesting things about them is that the closest relatives are the crabs that live in the sea. Another good place to look for little beasties is in a compost heap. You see worms, they don't have any eyes, they can find their way around just by feeling. And they turn the soil um, into a good place for the uh, plants to grow. And they've got uh, long muscles to help them move. Also in a compost heap you can find slugs, they're covered in a slimy substance to stop them drying out. The closest relatives are the snails which of course will have a shell on the back so you might find some slugs and some snails in your garden. Also in the compost heap you'll find the things like beetles. This is a ground beetle, it's staying very still at the moment trying not to be spotted and they are actually predators, they will prey on a lot of other animals that live in the soil and you'll see it moving very quickly like that. Also in the compost heap you can find other creatures, other predators like the centipede. Um, the centipedes, they don't actually have hundreds of legs, they do have a lot but not hundreds. But you can see they like to move very fast indeed and again find somewhere dark to hide. Also uh, in the compost heap you find spiders, many different types. This one is um, crawling up the stick here and you can possibly see a little bit of a web um, at one stage where they are uh, trying to cling on to things. Again they're predators of other creatures.